have Peter from Holland who wants to talk about how atheists, atheists should speak to believers. Is that right, Peter? Yes, that's that's correct. And uh, I, I also wanted to say, Matt, Matt, you're doing a terrible job. <laughs> as I <told. laughs> thank you, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm I myself are uh, extremely interested in uh, in religious beliefs. Um, I I spent pretty much all my time on YouTube uh, talking to atheists uh, to theists. And, and trying to figure out what they believe and why. Um, as I come from a country where we're pretty much atheist, I mean, uh, almost almost 80% of uh, the population here is atheist, or at least ticks the box for being a non-believer. Um, th there's a huge difference between American theists and uh, Dutch theists. And so what I would want to ask if, if because I followed you uh, in, in your route, I, I saw the first video uh, on Anthony Magnabosco's uh, channel uh, where he interviewed you mm -hmm. and later on the, the, the follow-up, which I thought was awesome that, that you guys chose to do that. Um, so what, what kind of tips would you give? Uh, I, I spoke with Anthony, uh, he was a guest on, on our show, uh, a while back. What tips would, would you have? What, what would be your favorite approach when, when you're talking to a, to a theist? Yeah. And what would you want to find out? Yeah. So for me, the most important thing to recognize is every single human being on earth believes in something differently than the other person. Uh, you, I mean, usually, right? So if we're talking about Christianity, that person is going to believe in Christianity being true for a lot of different reasons than this Christian and this Christian and this Christian and this Christian. And so if you try to approach it with these blanket statements and saying like, oh, this isn't true, this isn't true, it one, it might not be as effective because it doesn't apply to them. But two, it's very impersonal and it doesn't seem like it's taking that person's individual experiences into account. And in my opinion, it's disrespectful also. Um, that was one of the reasons why I was an atheist or was very uncomfortable for calling myself an atheist for a long time because I felt like there's a lot of people who don't take that into account, who didn't take my personal experiences of what I attributed to God uh, very seriously. Uh, they didn't acknowledge that they were in some sense real. Um, so first and foremost, I would say try to acknowledge that they're an individual person with individual human beings and you have to be open to the idea that they could be right. And what I mean by that is I'm not saying you should be a Christian, but I am saying that if you come into a conversation seeming like you're the know-it-all, why should they – I mean because they're not going to have a conversation with you because why should they have one if they don't feel like they're going to change your mind? If you, exactly. why would you want to talk to somebody that didn't think that, you know, they were going to change their mind? It's the same thing. It goes both ways. So you also have to come into each conversation assuming that somebody else knows something you don't. You know, Bill and I has that quote that says, everybody in the world knows something you don't. And I think that's, you know, just my general approach. And also, don't waste your time on people that you don't think that you can make progress with just to make a stink with them. I don't know. I think that's the other thing I'd say. I mean, like, it's just going to give you a bad day. <laughs> and it's not your job necessarily to to change everybody's minds at once to what you believe. It is your job to be, I think, as a, I mean, as a humanist, I think it's my position to be as responsible with I, as I can with my own beliefs and to engage with other people's beliefs as responsibly as I can. But uh, that doesn't mean going around telling people that they're wrong all the time. It just means in certain circumstances, I have to demonstrate why I'm right. And in other circumstances, I have to question why they think they're right. You know, so, so it's kind of different situations. What's your take on this, uh, Godless Highwin? Uh, I was going to say, basically to me or you, um, there are certain people that I tend to uh, not talk to all that often. Mm -hmm. um, and that would be people who are very much... Uh, fundamentalists set in their faith presuppositionalists. 
um, because I don't think that there's much of an argument that can be had with those people. I think that um, it tends to just run around in circles, as we saw earlier tonight. Um, but when I go about talking with someone that's at least willing to have a discussion, uh, what I like to do first is to get them to lay out exactly what it is they believe, um, because there is a lot of moving of the goalposts um, when you're talking with people about their faith. Um, and so if you can get them to set down two or three ideas that they are dead set on, this is what God is to them, or this is what their faith is to them, and then discuss those parts, um, you can have a very good conversation. Um, but if you're constantly having to chase after the goalposts as they move them, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's not going to work out. Mm -hmm. No, I'd, I'd, I'd fully agree. And, and I'd be one of the persons that you'd rather not talk to. I, I already know that, Matt. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, but so um, I'm, I'm not here to, to, to plug my, my, my own thing. Uh, so I, I won't mention any names, but we have a certain name for, for our show. Um, the reason for that name is that we want to... Uh, to make atheists at least a little bit more accessible and uh, show people that we're not uh, the devil possessed beings that is for, for a, a big part still the view of uh, people in the United States. And so my my view on, on all of this is that if you can find at least some kind of common ground and maybe you don't have to be actually friends although i have made friends through uh talks like this uh from christians to even a, even a flat earther um i, I think that's I, really important peter uh to to destigmatize atheism um because like we yeah. had the caller earlier who was was terrified talking to us um, because she felt like it was sinful uh, in some way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think yeah. it's very important to have these discussions. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and, I, and I also think that, um, so if you have a more friendly approach, you are a lot more likely to have people at least be willing to rethink their position and, and have a discussion about that. Because... Um, so my co-host is a former fundamentalist street preacher, um, and I have had very long talks with her. Um, and and she told me that um, her Christianity was was her entire identity. So when she uh, stopped believing, when she started doubting, when she stopped believing, she she had to reinvent herself. She lost her entire identity, which was pretty much dictated um, by the belief she held by, by the church she went to. And I don't think that a lot of the atheists, at least the atheists that I've seen online, realize that there are people like that out there and that you might, just by, by simple questions, uh, scare the living daylights out of them mm -hmm. because, um, yeah, if, if you grew up in that particular faith, it, it is a lot more than just a belief. I agree. And, and I, I think at times that, well, that I don't know if it's just more than a belief, but yeah, I, I agree with you fundamentally, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, I think, um, we often don't take account of the sensitivity that these issues require because uh, as a non-believer, the fact, or I'm not going to say fact, the idea that God isn't real, that concept, is an incredibly scary thing for a majority of the population. <laughs> and like we eat that for breakfast, right? Because we we don't care anymore. We've kind of grown out of that. But like I feel like there's a lot of people that don't, Either they've never experienced having that belief in the first place or it's been so long since they've had that belief that often the sensitivity required to have those conversations 
isn't as well accounted for as it should be. And we often have a temptation to tell people what's true and what's not true in the middle of those conversations. And I, while we may be right, there's a difference between being right and being convincing. That's right. Yeah. And absolutely, I, you know, we we don't we don't want to take account of that enough in our movement. I think. Well, and here's here's a great way to do that, at least with me. Um, if you if you haven't been a theist for a while and you're not as sensitive as you used to be, um, go back and look at your old Facebook posts from when you were a theist. I've got tons about <laughs> with me. Oh yeah, promoting the same stuff that I'm combating against. Um, today. So I can go back and say, you know, this was me not that long ago. Um, and it can change the way that I react to people. Mm -hmm. in the press. Yeah, we still, we still need a, We still need a mug with your last post on social media before you became an atheist. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, uh, Peter maybe, maybe, maybe you can fill in Dan, what that was. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, thanks. It's scary. Thanks for calling oh. in. And uh, we really appreciate it. We're going to try to wrap up the stream now. It yeah. is 5.30 where we're at. But thanks again for calling. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. And, and I want to add uh, a great show. I think it's going to be a great addition to, uh, to the community. And uh, I've subscribed. And I will try and advertise your show and, and your channel. So more people need to know about this. <laughs> Got another one. Hear that, Mark? We're, 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 we're bringing them in. That's awesome. That's exciting. Yeah, today we t today is one, tomorrow is a hundred, and then a thousand in the whole world. We subscribe to Truth Point. Awesome. Thanks again, Peter. And, and real quick to tell you what he was talking about, my very last act as a religious believer before I finally said, you know what, I don't believe this stuff, was uh, sending out God is not dead to all of my friends on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I'll admit it. That's that's rough. I know. Ugh. Okay, well, you got me beat. I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, Folks, that about wraps it up for Truth Wanted today. If you like the show, please send me a tweet out on my Twitter at Objectively Dan and say that you liked it. Um, give me some feedback. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, also, be sure to subscribe to the Godless Iowan as well. He's over over there. That, no, wait. Here. There we go. He, he yeah, makes great content as well. Um, he, he interviews all kinds of people and, and he talks about his own experiences. It's a really incredible story. Uh, this show is produced here uh, in the Free Thought Library in Austin uh, by the Atheist Community of Austin. Um, so if you like other shows like The Atheist Experience and Talk Heathen, you should go check those out too. They're also made here in this studio. Um, Truth Wanted will return back to a regular test schedule on Friday nights. However, next week, I will be out of town on a trip and we will not be streaming. Um, but we will return again probably after that. And next month will be our official premiere date for the show. Um, so look forward to that when we have some more information on it. Um, Godless Iowan, is there anything you wanted to say before we rewrap things up? Uh, I would just say thank you folks for having me on. Um, this has been awesome. It was a great experience, and I wish this show the, the best in the future. I think it's going to explode. Oh, thank you. That's really, really nice uh, of you to say. Um, if you want more updates on this show, again, follow me on Twitter at Objectively Dan, or you can join our new Truth Wanted Facebook page. And it's really exciting. We're going to probably have lots more conversations on there and stuff and also more announcements and things. Um, if you want to make a post, go ahead and make a post. We can start generating new content um, right away. So, yeah, that's about it for today, folks. Thanks again for joining us for Truth Wanted. Remember, the truth might be out there. Maybe. We don't know. We're going to figure it out. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time.